Welcome to the very first episode of a new series I'm starting here on the channel called Roll Notes. Since moving to Los Angeles, I've been so excited to start exploring a bunch of new places here, start taking a lot of photos, and I thought that this series would just be a great way to document that. Typically on my channel, I would go out with like a piece of gear or a new film stock that I was reviewing. But I think in this series, what we'll do is just go out and focus on the photography, just having fun making pictures, talking more about the composition, the lighting. So that's what this new series is. Every episode will be a different location. We already have the next three episodes filmed and edited, so I'm really excited to share these with you guys. So this first episode, we'll be walking around some of the residential neighborhoods of East Los Angeles. I love walking around here because of the hilly landscape that makes for some super interesting compositions photographically. You can spend hours here admiring the beautiful houses, the old cars, and the flowers that pretty much fill the streets. We're starting off in Angelino Heights specifically, which has some of the best views of downtown LA. As we're walking down this hill towards downtown LA, I'm just noticing some of the really beautiful flowers that are kind of all along the sides of the streets, trying to take some photos of those and really just trying to get a feel for the area because this was one of my first times here. Although the light was still a little bit harsh, I think the really bright colors from the flowers and some of the architecture here is looking really nice. That was one thing I noticed in the last video we shot is like, I say nice after every photo. Hey. <laughs> That's really nice. See, I did it again. I need to come up with something new to say after I shoot a shot. Oh man, that's the first roll down. It's just too easy to burn through rolls out here. All right, one thing I heard a lot about before moving here is California light. People talk about California light like it's a magical thing and I didn't believe it until I moved here. But this light right now, which is super high up in the sky and I typically would not like shooting this it's just different here it's softer it's more diffused and it's super bright 250 right now i'm shooting at f16 at 250 right now which is incredibly bright for what is it five o'clock so there definitely is something different about the light here maybe it's the smog in the air i'm not sure At this point, we took a 10 minute drive down the road to Silver Lake. Although it was really close by, this neighborhood has a totally different feel to it. And this is one of the things I love about Los Angeles is that there's so many dense little pockets of neighborhoods that all have totally different feels to them and are all totally different to photograph. Awesome, I'm gonna crawl out of this bush now. Um, I love this scene, I love, like what is this? I've never seen this in my life before. And it's just so beautiful. And it's just sitting here on the street next to this insane car, so yeah. I think that was a nice frame. I liked using some of these yellow flowers in the foreground and the light's just super nice right now.
sometimes you just end up in a situation where like one of these weird angles is just the best way to shoot it. This is a great example. suffering from golden hour anxiety. The light's really beautiful and I don't know where to shoot. I'm still figuring out my way around Los Angeles. So I'm literally just aimlessly driving right now, hoping I'll find anything to shoot. That's all I had to say. Switching to 800 because it's getting a little darker. As we keep walking around, the sun is starting to set, the light is getting a lot nicer, and I came across probably my favorite scene of the day. Although this scene isn't anything groundbreaking, this is just the kind of stuff that I personally really love shooting. I love after walking around for a whole day, the light gets nice, and I finally come across something that I really love, like this car. This makes it all worth it for me, and this is really where the fun in photography is for me. I think these pictures turned out really nice. Hmm, that could be beautiful. As the light started to fade and it got a little bit darker, we headed further east to explore some more residential neighborhoods during the night. It was a really nice warm summer evening and I personally hadn't shot night photos yet since moving to LA, so I was really excited to do that. There's the tape. I have not shot night photos in so long, so I really do need to refresh myself and get back into it. I found my first photo of the night, nice old Mercedes parked over here. I also love that it's right under the light pole, which should just make it look visually interesting. And there's some shoes hanging from the power line right above it. So I'm gonna see if I can frame all of that in this one photo. I personally love the experience of being out alone at night, just shooting photos. It feels a lot quieter than shooting during the day. There's no cars in the road to bother you. And it feels like there's no rush because the light is pretty much constant throughout the whole night. This one's a little bit darker than the last one. So I'm gonna have to be perfect. That was a nice one, I think. One thing I definitely look out for when I'm shooting at night is the color of the light that's lighting up the street. So right now this is a sodium vapor light. It's kind of like a tungsten looking color. And typically if you only have that color light, it can look pretty weird I would say. It can look almost grayish and monochrome, which is why I love lights like this that are a contrasting color. Um, 
And I think that adds that nice color contrast that the light itself is missing, if that makes sense. So it's like a blue and orange, essentially. <laughs> I'm gonna have to redo it now. All right, let me see if I get another chance at that. Marty and I have been driving around for a bit. We found this covered car. Kill me, it's a covered car. <laughs> um, Willem, why are you shooting film cliches? Anyway, there's these really nice looking flowers behind it too, so I think the two together could make a nice photo. It's, again, it's in this like, what is it, sodium vapor? It is the sodium vapor light, and I think this will be a good example of what happens when there's no contrasting light. Like, this will just look very monochrome, I think. F11 at eight seconds. Focusing at night with the rangefinder is always incredibly difficult. Probably 15 seconds. I want to take a second to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Musicbed. Musicbed is an incredible online platform to find music for your next video project. I've been using Musicbed since the day I started this channel to find songs for my videos. From the beginning, it was clear that this wasn't just another site with a selection of generic stock music. There are real artists on Musicbed with incredible work that you can use for your videos and Musicbed will take care of the licensing in an incredibly easy to use platform. Sometimes finding the perfect song is the inspiration I need to finish a video and Musicbed is always my go-to place to do that. If that sounds like something you're interested in, you can hit the link in my description to check out Musicbed and use my code Willem at checkout to get your first month free when you sign up for an annual individual subscription. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's going to wrap it up for this episode. I'm super excited to make more videos in this series where we just go and explore a new place. This was a lot of fun for me. And I want to say a huge thank you to Marty behind the camera for filming this. I'll have his Instagram and my Instagram in the description.